Alors, so, um, first, uh, we have started by defining what we meant by stable coins. And uh, we um, ask uh, a number of uh, stable coin providers in the world uh, to have a diversity of, um, of solutions to present their stable coin solution uh, to build a collection of uh, a large number of use cases. And then we, we, we came up with, with a, a very simple definition for a stable coin. Uh, then we um, wrote in a, in, a, in a report that's going to be public uh, uh, soon, uh, which is that the fact that a stable coin is a coin, so uh, one unit of an asset, uh, whose value is stable relative to a reference. And this reference could be units of another asset, uh, like uh, fiat, uh, fiat money, for example, uh, or a basket of assets, uh, a basket of, of, of fiat money. Uh, but also, it could be more abstract. Uh, for example, uh, it could be stable with regard to purchasing power. And so, uh, the notion of, uh, of fiat money here uh, wouldn't be uh, uh, present. And uh, um, so, there is a big difference between uh, what the regulators call payment stable coins, which are so linked to uh, fiat money that should be put in a reserve, uh, and uh, other types of stable coins, which are stable with regard to another reference, like for example, purchasing power. After then, uh, once we define, uh, we define uh, what we meant by stable coins. Um, so we reviewed all the different use cases that, that were submitted. Uh, so actually we had uh, stable coins that were backed by uh, one single uh, currency, fiat money, like for example the euro, the euro uh, for example the Lug uh, by Casino Group uh, in France on the Tezos blockchain, or uh, the VCAD uh, backed by Canadian do dollars uh, by StableCorp on Algorand blockchain. Uh, we had also basket of currencies, so we reviewed the very famous uh, Libra project that was launched uh, in a, as an association in Geneva. Um, and then the, uh, in the initial uh, project, Libra, it was uh, meant to be a basket of uh, fiat monies, uh, selected, uh, selected uh, uh, fiat monies of different countries. Uh, but unfortunately, I mean, uh, uh, regulators uh, uh, we are not uh, so happy of this uh, proposal. And now uh, Libra changed its name from Libra to Diem. And this is only uh, backed by uh, dollar and it is based in, uh, in the US for a start. We had also, for example, a provider called uh, Globecoin um, uh, with a basket of, of fiat money plus gold. But the goal here was to be stable with regard to purchasing power. So we had really a, a good number of, um, of uh, stable coins uh, of different types. And the final type that is very also different uh, because it's not uh, backed by reserve of uh, fiat money uh, was uh, what we called uh, the algorithmic stable coins. And we reviewed, for example, uh, one project which is quite well known, which is called uh, Ample Force. Uh, so we had a, a very good uh, number of uh, use cases. And uh, then at the end, now, and we are, once we, we know, uh, we know the definition, we know the use cases, uh, now what we are looking at at uh, the Stable Coin Working, working Group uh, is the issue of interoperability between all these different uh, stable coins. Yes, so uh, clearly, uh, Interoperability uh, will work better if uh, there is a standard, right? Because um, uh, this standard will be recognized internationally, and uh, then these different providers of stable coins, if they, they uh, use uh, and comply with this standard, for example, uh, from the ITU, uh, then of course, uh, de facto, it will be more interoperable uh, because this is a standard which is already uh, built at, a, at an international level. 
after um, uh, so there is still there are still some uh, security issues of these stable coins for example when uh, there is a project which is backed by a reserve of fiat money um, the question is that uh, do do we are, are we really sure that this reserve exists um, that uh, the entity that is uh, providing the, the stable coin has enough uh, fiat money and, and related uh, um, assets uh, to cover the number of stable coins that they create. And so um, at the moment, uh, it's not really automated. Uh, there are some, um, some audits that are done. But the question is that we are looking at, you know, how could we automate uh, secure auditing uh, to be sure that, you know, and even if they are connected with other stable coins, thanks to inter interoperability, that, uh, you know, all of them are, are of uh, a good uh, trust level uh, and with strong security as well as uh, for the, the reserves that they are, uh, they say they, they have. Uh, and not in order not to impact other stablecoins or even the, the users of, the, of their stablecoins.